So we have different sets of data. First we have body weights and the average body weight for our data was 164.4 pounds and the standard deviation was 23.2. Then over here we have heights. The average height was 67 inches and the standard deviation was 3.2 inches. So in this problem we're asked to do three things. We want the coefficient of variation for the body weight. Then we want the coefficient of variation for the heights. And then we want to know which has more variation. So let's go ahead and work it out. The formula for the coefficient of variation, I'm going to call it CV. It's the standard deviation, so S, divided by the mean. And then you multiply by 100, and usually you express your answer as a percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and put a percentage here. But I want to emphasize that I'm not saying multiply by 100%. I don't, don't use the percent key in your calculator. Just multiply by 100 and then write it as a percent. So for the first one, it'll be 23.2 divided by 164.4. And this is being multiplied by 100. And then we attach the percent sign at the end. So this is equal to, using a calculator, 14.11%. So that is the coefficient of variation for the body weights, right? We use the information for the body weights to do part A. B, we'll do the same thing, but now we'll do it for the heights. So CV is equal to the standard deviation divided by the mean. And then we multiply by 100, and then we attach the percent sign. So here it'll be 3.2. That's our S, so 3.2. Then you divide by x bar, so divide by 67, and then just multiply by 100 and attach the percent sign. So this is equal to, using a calculator, 4.78%. OK, now part C, which has more variation? Well, the body weights have more variation. So the answer to this is body weight. So what is the CV for and what does it do? Well, it tells you how much variation you have in a data set. You might say, well, doesn't the standard deviation do that anyways? So why do we need something else? You'll notice in this case, this is a perfect, perfect example because in this case, our first data set is in pounds and our second data set is in inches. But if you think about the CV, if you think about the formula, let's go back to the first example and do it a different way. Think of it this way, it's 23.2 pounds divided by 164.4 pounds times 100%. And what happens to the pounds? The pounds cancel. So the final answer is unitless. So it allows us to compare two data sets when the units are different, right? Because it's hard to, to look at this number here, 23.2 and this number here, 3.2, and just say, oh, you know, this one's bigger, so it has more variation. That was the case in this example, but that's not always the case because the units are different. So it allows us to compare two data sets when the units are different. So I hope this video has helped.